champion two years ago. So a flat approach from the Austrian as he comes running in, this beautiful H540 V3, the only type of the Austrian 57. That's a pretty pokey start. Can he control it? Absolutely. Very nice transition from the chicane in towards gate three. Now let's see what his take on this vertical turning maneuver is. It's pretty flat and Bonham-esque turn there as he sort of pulled hard back on the top. I'd love to this see his G meter. He's looking good, Joe. First split time, just just under one tenth of a second ahead of his previous time. In fact, ahead of bottom. Let's see as he comes for the second time through. That, well, that looked a little bit off knife edge as he went through the uh, twin knife edge. I'm sure the stewards will look and very flat as well. He's been learning uh, from uh, Pete McLeod who did that turn as well. Look at the splits. He's half a second behind Bonham but easily able to catch him if he can keep this pace up. He can, Joe, and it's all to do with how tight he pulls into these turns. So let's watch his G as he sweeps into the vertical turn. What does he choose? Again, an oblique 9.8 G. Very respectful for the second half of the track. Very clean, very clean lines through the air. Okay, he's bringing the time. He's, he's pulling in bottom. He's just five tenths of a second off the pace. If he keeps it tight here, he can easily make up that time. Okay, through that twin knife for the last time, it's the penultimate gate eight. Now pitch up, the Austrian was five hundredths of a second in the last time check. Can he make it and go to bed with that pillow stuffed with a point? It is 25.2, he is not Number 28, Ark, 1 minute, 25.2 seconds, no penalty, second place.